This is how you can easily play all Steam VR games on your Quest using the new Steam Link as well as other options like Virtual Desktop or Air Link. That means that you will finally be able to play games like Half Life Alex directly. And this setup guide works for all Quest headsets. Now, what you will need is a PC or laptop, a strong internet connection, and of course, your VR headset. Do keep in mind that you need a powerful PC to run all of this, and you can check if it is actually VR ready by using the official Steam VR performance test. However, also remember that some games might require a little bit more power. So in most cases, the better your PC, the better your experience. And secondly, for your internet connection to perform at its maximum, try to connect your computer or laptop directly to an ethernet cable when possible. And make sure you are not using it with too many others on the same Wi-Fi network. And regarding the headsets, since this setup will work for any quest, of course the performance regarding clarity and sharpness will be a lot better if you own a Quest 3 compared to the original one. So let's talk about the easiest new way to play Steam VR games, which is directly also the fastest method thanks to Steam VR's own app called Steam Link. To make this work, all you have to do is head over to the main Quest store inside your headset and download the Steam Link app. And once installed, just launch it and you will see that you will be greeted with a pairing code. And the only thing left to do is to enter this code on your PC running Steam and your setup is directly complete. Making this the fastest and easiest way to play Steam VR games on your Quest headset. But to make it even better, you can also play any other game from your Steam library as a big screen in front of you inside VR. And although there are different applications that can actually pull off something similar, this is by far the easiest and quickest method to jump into games like Half-Life Alex as fast as possible. One thing to keep in mind though, is if you're having struggles with this setup, make sure that your PC and headset are running on the same network and that your Quest is also updated with its latest software. But if you you want to play even more PC VR games besides the ones just available on Steam VR, then the second method called Airlink might be another option for you. And although it is from Meta themselves, it does require a bit more of a setup. Firstly, you will need to download the official PC VR software directly onto your computer. But do keep in mind that you will still have to log in with the same account that you have on your headset. And once this is finished, go to the device tab on your PC and click on add your new headset. From here, you can choose to either set it up using a USB-C cable or simply wireless if you don't have one laying around. And after selecting your option, you just put your headset on, go into settings and toggle on the Quest Link option. Then when you head back in your quick settings menu, you will now see the option called Quest Link that if you click it, lets you turn on the Air Link feature and sync up with your computer. And after you have selected your PC, it will show you a linking code that you will have to fill in on your desktop to complete the process of pairing up your headset. But once these steps are completed, you should see a green symbol that indicates that it is now fully connected. And all that is left to do for you is just press continue inside your headset and launch it to be directly brought into your PC VR environment. And here you have a brand new space for all your high-end games. So although this setup requires a lot more steps, if you are specifically looking to play PC VR games besides the ones that are available on Steam VR, then this option might be even better for you. But in any other case, the official Steam Link will be much easier and quicker to install and won't let you run into any problems by setting it up. But before we get to the next method that can take your PC VR gaming on your Quest headset to the next level, a quick word from the company that made this video possible. If you feel like your screen in VR is too blurry or if you sometimes wish that your graphics look just a bit sharper, then you might want to check out the lenses from the company named VR Wave, especially if you're also wearing glasses or contacts in real life because they make lenses for VR headsets like the Quest 2 that you can just click in and directly start using, taking your VR experience quickly to the next level. They even make them for the new and upcoming headsets like the Quest 3 and the PlayStation VR 2. And you can use the code Frelity for a 5% discount on your total purchase. So if you're interested, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description below. And with that said, let's get right back into it. If you are a real hardcore PC VR user that wants to get the absolute best out of their VR headset, then there is also a third option called Virtual Desktop. With its biggest difference that it has many different settings that you can tweak, like its frame rate, as well as the enhanced super resolution upscaling. 
And as an alternative to Airlink, this third-party app lets you bring your computer screen inside VR, not only letting you play PC VR games, but also giving you the options to use it for multitasking, like giving you your own virtual workspace or watching shows on Netflix inside virtual reality. And the setup is basically identical, because you will still have to download and install the PC VR software from Meta that was also needed for Airlink, with its biggest difference that once this is finished, you will have to download the virtual desktop app on your PC and also a copy of it on your Quest. And by running the application on both your PC and Quest, you can easily connect them to each other. But its biggest difference that although virtual desktop has many more settings that you can tweak, as well as really bringing your PC inside virtual reality, it doesn't come completely for free. Whereas an Oculus and Steam Link can be used and downloaded at no additional cost. So depending on your goals and needs, one of these three options will be better best for you. But that's not all, because there are some must-play games that you have to try if you own a Quest 2 or Quest 3 headset. So click on the video that you see on screen right now to make sure you don't miss out.